Here's a little bit of grass tuning that, that I learned back when I was just a real young boy. I heard for the first time. <laughs> Bluegrass has been uh, not highly sought up through the years. Uh, most people consider bluegrass as being old time, rustic, uh, uh, uncouth, so to speak, music. I played in several different groups. The last group that I played with uh, was uh, had to do with the uh, family more than than before. My daughter-in-law, Emily, played the bass. And, and since then, now it's been about three years, I haven't been to it too much. Bluegrass has been a part of me and even my family after I've been all over the country for the past 30 years. Uh, playing music at different spots, some small, some even a little bit larger. Bluegrass was in my soul way back early when I was just a kid, but I never understood, I never thought that I'd ever play it because to me it seemed a lot harder than the other music that we played. Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys, and um, my favorite, uh, Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. When they come on uh, the radio, it caught my attention more than any uh, of the country. And at the time, Johnny Cash and, and uh, Porter Wagoner and such was, was uh, really uh, prominent uh, musicians, singers and songwriters even back in the days. I was just totally captivated at seven and eight, nine years old. I didn't think I'd ever probably be able to play that kind of music because it, it sounded extremely hard to me. There's a certain way to play the instruments to make them sound bluegrassy. Country has a complete different uh, way in picking and rhythm. The guitar. You have to have the uh, G run, what uh, Lester Flatt always called the G run. To play bluegrass. You don't hear it in country that much, but you do hear it in bluegrass. Bluegrass still is pretty well traditional. It's 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 tried to stay traditional, even though the, the music has uh, got more progressive. And they still pretty well use the same instruments. They play it different. They they don't play it like straight ahead bluegrass anymore. But everything progresses if you notice through life. <laughs> That's how kind of we have a divide a lot of times between parents and children it's because parents have a time accepting the new, different stuff coming along by the children. We had a big deal, you know, when uh, me and James and Charles, when we were just young, you know, went to play a, a 
went to play at uh, rock and roll music, and we we just hung up on the big beats, you know, and those groups, the Turtles, and <laughs> they all had crazy names. But uh, my dad, he couldn't stand that music. That it was, it was. I mean, he'd pull his hair out. He hated it. Absolutely hated it. He'd take the TV and take it and unplug it and throw it out the door for crying out loud. He didn't want time because of that kind of program. So you don't hear bluegrass that much, which in a way makes makes bluegrass more uh, better for the ones that really enjoy it and like it. That can kind of cut through the rhetoric and uh, you don't often hear the bluegrass as you do country and especially country, which uh, you don't, you kind of get a taste for it and you enjoy it when you get to hear it. And so uh, it's not as prevalent as other music. And that's one of the things that I like about it. it it's kind of my own music and it's not as mainstream country and I like that.